Cobra drivers known to be the longest hitting drivers in the game. Bryson DeChambeau used a Cobra driver to get 203 mile per hour ball speed. Today we are going to do a full review of the Cobra speed zone. First we are going to go over look and style. Then we are going to go over distance and feel rating it out of 10. We are going to go over control and then we are going to give it a rating for ruggedness. How well it stands up? Does it get scratches on the face easily? If you guys haven't checked out my channel before, my name's Nolan. Hit that subscribe button, comment down below what driver you're using, and stay tuned to find out if the Cobra Speed Zone is right for you. The Cobra Speed Zone driver is designed for extreme speed, distance, and forgiveness. It has a larger head and a six gram interchangeable weight on the sole, along with a fixed 17 gram tungsten weight in the back to achieve Cobra's highest ever MOI. I absolutely love the face of the Cobra driver. It is an infinity milled face referred to as the engine of the driver. It is crucial for generating ball speed. It is the only driver in golf to use a CNC milled face. Cobra has expanded the mill area by 95% compared to the F9 Speedback to better control face and leading edge thickness. This driver has a low center of gravity, which is vital in a good driver as it maximizes ball speed, launch and spin. The speed zone driver has placed 69 grams of mass, 29 grams more than last year's speed back, low in the head for better launch conditions. It comes with many aerodynamic features, such as the slick back head with the racing type weights in the back, I absolutely love the look of it. It looks like a race car. It has streamlined shape, milled parameter leading edges that harness airflow for precision and hopefully maximize acceleration power. This driver can be for any type of handicap depending on what shaft you get. If you get a stiff shaft, this can be used for a low handicap golfer or you can get a regular shaft or even senior shaft and this driver is going to maximize your distance, whether you're low, mid, or handicap golfer. So, firstly, rating the looks of this driver out of 10. I absolutely love the look of this driver. I like the head cover. I love the yellow, although it doesn't match my bag too good. I really like it. The driver itself is super nice. I love the back of it. I love the aerodynamics. It looks like a race car, ready for distance. If you want to impress your friends and absolutely bomb your drives, definitely look into the Cobra drivers. This is a 2020 model, so it's four years old now, but there's tons of them for sale at Golf Town for discounted prices. I quite like the red and the yellow. Some people say it's busy and it, it looks pretty good. I can see how some people think that it definitely looks busy, but I love the red they added in on the back. I absolutely love the look of the milled face. Looking down on the driver, the milled face goes over the top of the driver. So even if you're topping your driver or getting all the way under it and skying it, you're not going to be getting scuffs on the top and the bottom because of this milled face. For looks and style of this iron, I am going to give it a 9 out of 10. Definitely some of the newer Cobra drivers look a little bit nicer, a little bit sleeker and minimalistic. The matte black finish on some of the new drivers looks very good, but for a discounted price, because this is an older driver now, you're still getting a great deal. Okay, let's move on to feel and distance of this driver. I'll see you guys on the course. All right guys, range session with the Cobra Speed Zone. We're at the range here. I'm gonna hit three shots, we're gonna see how it feels. Honestly, so far the club's been doing me nice out here. Um, this part is beautiful because I've been skying it and it helps protect it. I'm gonna do a straight shot, a fade and a draw. Okay, feel and distance. My distance has definitely gone up. I feel that even when I'm not trying to muscle it or hit a bomb of a drive, it still goes very far. I feel like with this club, you let the club do the work, you do your swing, and the ball is still going to go far. You don't need to step up to the plate 
and whack it as hard as possible. Because of the aerodynamics on this club, because it's bigger, you are going to generate more ball speed. And I think that's what has helped my distance. The control on this is crazy. You'll fade. I'm not even good at fading and I faded, so. Oh my gosh. Feeling crisp, you guys. Feeling crisp. Beautiful driver. There's the range session for you. I'll see you back in my basement. For the feel of it, I like the feel, I like the sound. It's not the nicest sound that, is, that I've ever heard. For the feel of this driver, I like the feel of it, I like the sound, but it's not the nicest sounding driver I've ever hit. It doesn't create a big ping. It's kind of a flat sounding driver, so it's not too loud which is good, but I think it could be a little bit louder so that when you hit a bomb of a driver, all your friends know. For the feel, you can definitely feel a difference when you hit it to the middle compared to when you hit it off the toe and heel. But with that, the middle and the center feeling, the sweet spot of the driver is much bigger than other drivers that I've played. So I definitely like the sweet spot and I definitely like how it feels when I hit that sweet spot. For feeling and distance, I am going to give this driver an eight out of 10. It could have a nicer sound, it could feel a little bit better, but for the price, I definitely like this driver. Moving on to control. Okay, with control for this driver, I was trying to hit some fades, I was trying to hit some draws, I was trying to hit a few stingers. I am not a pro golfer, so I do not have as much control as those pros do, and I don't necessarily know how to hit a perfect fade or draw. But with this club, I feel like when I set up for a fade, it faded a little bit, but it wasn't slicing, which is what I want. And when I set up for a draw, it was not hooking. I wasn't getting too many big hooks or slices. Even when I felt like I hit a big hook, and I rolled my hands over and it wasn't a nice feeling drive, it still turned out pretty good. So the forgiveness on this driver is amazing. There are two sets of drivers with the speed zone. There's the speed zone extreme and the speed zone. The speed zone extreme is for more of a mid to high handicapper. It has a big head and the sweet spot's gonna be bigger, but you're not gonna be able to control it as much compared to the speed zone. For control, I am going to give this an eight out of 10. Moving on to ruggedness with this driver. I've had this driver in my bag for around six months. I've hit a lot, I've hit a lot of bad shots with it. For ruggedness, this has definitely stood up much better than any other drivers I've had before. Especially if you get some of the newer models with a matte black finish, you're not gonna be seeing any wear or tear. Because of this infinity milled face, you don't see any scratches and the milled face goes over the top of the driver. So when you hit a bad shot, it's protecting the driver. For ruggedness, for a driver, I'm going to have to give this a 10 out of 10. It has been amazing so far and I'm excited to see how well it keeps up for the next couple of years that I have this in the bag. If you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you have the Cobra Speed Zone, what you think of it or what other driver you have and comment if you like this review. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.